hey hi all so today we will be uh, doing another video of playwright with python series and in this video we will be uh, learning about the locators and in our previous video we have learned about text locator right so uh, i will i have not covered one uh, thing regarding the text locator in my last video it is regarding has text uh, thing so that i will be showing you apart from that i will be also doing uh, init match uh, part okay so let's do that so first okay so I'm using this playwright code gen that I have already shown in my previous video or one of the previous videos so just hit the enter so what will, what will it do so it will just open one browser pop-up and this playwright inspector tool so uh, now um, I have opened the salesdemo.com website and uh, so okay so first I will be learning about this init match okay so what is this init match uh, I'll be showing you so for that uh, let's uh, log in standard user and then secret source okay I'm in this so as you can see uh, I want to locate uh, let's say well, init match is like uh, you know uh, if you uh, I have not covered the CSS one till yet but in uh, CSS or any other uh, export locator as well we have this thing like the index wise we can go let's say I want to uh, get the locator of this element and but I have a similar type of locator which is right now matching two nodes okay so you can put the index one and or two something like that right so using that you can also uh, identify the unique element so let's inspect it and uh, let's change this layout and go to the console here I'm clearing the console so what I'll be doing is playwright dot dollar and in bracket what I have to do is give the double quote okay and write init match and before that put a colon and here complete the braces and sorry bracket and use this text or you have to use this colon and then put uh, the values like source lab okay so let's for for example this backpack and back bike light uh, these two words is dynamic okay but these two things source labs and this two is like fixed and we know the position is like this would be the first one and this would be the second one or something like that just for example okay so now I want to uh, inspect uh, the first element so what I will be doing after this completing this pass or slab comma one and if I hit enter now you can see the first one is getting highlighted that means this node is selected so now you can use this locator in my automation code and click on it although this is not the uh, perfect correct approach but if required you can use it right maybe uh, this is the only way we have to, to do it uh, there is no other way because here if you want to click on it you can simply use this one which is coming here text equals to source slabs backpack that is also fine but I'm just giving you example like uh, in which scenarios you need to use it in a match okay so uh, for example these two word is similar right same not similar but uh, let for example these two words are text is same so in that case you cannot use this text equals to source labs backpack because all the time I mean always it will be selecting the first element right to get the second element or the third element let's say there are more than two elements right so in that case you need to use this approach so if there is any third element then you can need to use this three here okay so this is one way and let's give another example like uh, maybe we can see something like that playwright dot dollar colon init match and 
here instead of dot a colon text we can use the button so um, we can use button or sorry colon button comma one not sure whether it will be giving any perfect locator because I'm not sure whether there is any button present here or not so first let's find out whether any button is there is there or not so using button So, um, do here. Let's see it here. Okay. Mm, let's search it. But okay, look at its colon button, right? And button colon physical mm -hmm. okay I think I have to use this double quote here yeah okay so we can see one button is present here but it is not actually highlighting so probably it is a hidden state so what we have to do no it should not be hidden state but open menu right uh, where is this open menu see it actually button ID I'm not sure why it is not highlighting oh okay yep so it is highlighting you can see here this one so this open menu uh, uh, field is there this is the actually if you click on it it is opening this menu pop up right so this is there so this is the button visible now i can use this one right uh, this okay i think there is only one button but in case there is multiple button then you can use it uh, like this one okay so uh, we can take another website it is gmail.com and go to this create account page okay here there are two buttons right so we can use utilize this one so just go here console it and just copy this one and paste it so init match colon button so instead of let's see what is the okay, we have made some mistake so this button what probably i need to take a reference here so button okay i have used this button one nope i think this button will be there okay so in it match button comma two oops i have forgot the double quotation so no still I did the mistake sorry about that so okay so this bracket needs to be complete so colon in it match then within bracket button comma one and then button is closed I think this is correct okay so you can see it is giving the it is highlighting something so let's see what is it highlighting or what I can do it's a bit difficult here so yeah so if I highlight it you can see it is highlighting the next button but what if I Highlighting the next button probably okay and for example if I give two 
is also highlighting again in the second button so as you can see this next button is the first one and the sign in instead is the second button so uh, we can use this approach uh, to uh, find locator of the buttons okay so init match uh, give the bracket and then use button comma the first or second button so we, it is not the correct uh, the recommended approach but if required you can use it like that this way so if there is multiple elements and we cannot get the exact text or something then you can use it okay so this is the init match one and la one more thing which I've missed uh, to cover in my last video which is has has text uh, locator so you, you can see this button colon has text right so this is one more way to find a locator so uh, button colon has text and even bracket just use sign in instead and hit enter so we can see this uh, element uh, got highlighted that means this is the element which will be clicked or selected whenever we will be using in our automation code and if we want to use the next button then we need to replace it with next and hit enter so you can see this next button is getting highlighted okay so this is all I wanted to cover in today's videos and you can take a reference from this website here you can see the selectors and there you can go to the text selectors and you can see this all there and you can go through in detail okay and I'm trying to cover as much as possible so you can see this has text one right so and if you do not give anything before this that means this is anything I mean it can be button it can be anything so yep I hope um, okay if there is any doubt let me know thank you for watching